he used to, um, I got a blanket here, I'm kind of laying down, I'm having sort of a lazy day. Um, I finally finished my term of school, and I was taking, like, um, three classes over the summer, which you're not really supposed to take more than, like, two or one. Um, over the summer, and so I finally just finished them, and got, I didn't get it, I got any minuses. Um, but, um succeeded, sort of, didn't fail, and so now I have all this time, and, like, it's great, because, like, right leading up to finals, I was really depressed, and really just, like, feeling so, I don't know if I was depressed, I was just feeling really lonely, um, like, just, like, it was, like, the pinnacle of loneliness, um, I just, like, I didn't, I don't know, this is still true, but, like, I don't really have, like, friends that I have any, like, physical contact with in Detroit. Like, I've, like, I've, most of my friends, I'll, like, hug or kiss them, like, when we see each other and, like, you know, to say hello and goodbye, but, like, I don't have friends that I'll just kind of, like, lay around with. And, like, I just recently have been really, really, um, needing that, and I don't have it, so... That's been something that's, that was giving me a really rough time lately, and also just, like, feeling lonely beyond that. But then, like, right as finals were setting in, it started to... First of all, like, that took all my attention. But then, like, it sort of started to come to the forefront of my existence that, like... I'm moving to Toronto, like, it's not just something that's happening kind of soon, it's something that is happening in, it's August 5th, it's happening on September 3rd, and so that's really less than a month away, and when you're moving in less than a month, are you really, like, worrying about not being happy in the community that you're in? Well, if you are me, then fuck no, I'm, like, happy about getting chances to see all my friends here before I go, and, like, spend quality time with them, and I'm, like, thinking about getting ready to move, like, packing, like, I haven't started packing, but I think I'm gonna start packing today, and just, like, all this, you know, stuff that makes it feel really real, and also, like, trying to, you know, adjust to, like, all these friends that I've been kind of collecting who live in Toronto, um, who, you know, like, especially since I decided I was going to move there, like, six months or so ago, like, I've been collecting friends who live in Toronto, and, like, getting to know them more, and, like, recently, I feel like, the tone has changed in my mind from like, oh, that'll be great that someday this person will be there to be my friend IRL, to like, oh, this is a person who is like imminently going to hopefully potentially be actively in my life. And, um, you know, I could make plans to go see whatever movie that's coming out in a month that I want to see, I could be like, let's make plans to go do this together, or like, I don't know, like, a month is like, you make plans, I mean, not all, but there's some things that you can, like, plan a month in advance, like, I don't know, so it just, like, feels really real, like, it's making plans, you know, I don't know. So I'm getting really excited about that, and, um, things are starting to fall into place, like, I have a place to live, which I'm super excited about, and moving with, um, someone I'm really close with, and, um, um, so I have a place to live, um, I have a date that I'm moving, um, and, like, 
when things happen in my friendships here in Detroit, like, recently, like, something was happening that was like, oh man, this is the same drama that's been going on for a month. Am I going to have to do something about this? And I was like, wait, no, I don't have to do anything about engaging in any drama here because fuck that. I'm just going to enjoy my friends. Um, Because I really do love my friends here. I think the problem is that I have a group of friends here. I don't have a community. Like, I really, really love my group of friends here. I basically just want them all to move to Toronto. But beyond my immediate circle of friends, there's not a community that I feel accepted by or part of. So, I don't know. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to leave here today. But, um, yeah, and then I think I'm gonna like go home. I'm not home right now. I'm hustling for my Like, I think I'm gonna like go to Target and buy boxes or something and go home and start packing. And like, that. How fucking amazing is it? I'm swearing a lot in this video. Oops. Like, when I got really depressed over the last like month, I let my room get completely trashed. And it's just been, like, I don't know, like, gross. And so, rather than now, when I look at it, rather than thinking, oh, I really need to clean this, I think, oh, I should start packing. I don't even have to clean my room. You may probably will, but I don't have to clean my room. I just put away the stuff that I'm not going to use in the next month into boxes. That's amazing. Oh, and one last thing. Um, then I'm gonna go, because I don't really have that much to talk about, other than, like, being excited about moving in Toronto. But if you live in Toronto, and you happen to be watching this, like, all five people that ever watch my videos, um, come say hi to me. Um, so the other thing I want to say is twat fest. I'm going to Toronto for, like, my last trip there before I move on Wednesday. For Twat Fest, and Twat Fest is um, the Trans Women Arts Toronto Festival, and it is an art festival um, curated by Morgan Page, and um, it is all trans women and trans female spectrum artists, um, many of whom I know and like. I'm so inspired by their art. Um, it's like the first time that anything like that has ever really happened, that there's been like an entire art festival that's all trans women and trans female spectrum people. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited for that. I'm excited for the after party. I'm excited for the performances and film screenings associated with it. I'm excited for all the babes who are going to be there. And like, I don't, it's, it's exciting to have like, in this, like, month before I moved to Toronto to have, like, a trip there planned where, like, I can meet people in this context of, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm gonna be here in, like, less than a month instead of, like, oh, I'm moving here eventually. So it's, like, it feels like a, like, pre-breaking into communities and stuff there. Plus, like, I don't know, if you live in Toronto and you have an, any any opportunity to go to Twat Fest. And I don't mean like, oh, you don't have better plans. I mean, you are physically able to go and in town, you should go because it's really amazing. And like, I don't know why, yeah, why wouldn't you, um, why wouldn't you? Anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye. Blankets, like, dead, asleep. Oh, it scared him. We're gonna say goodbye. But, yep. Yeah, stop. And if you live in Toronto and you don't come to Twat Fest and you don't have a good reason, like you were sick or you were out of town or you're not physically able, and then you come up to me and you wanna be friends with me. 
why would I want to be friends with someone who didn't get, who didn't like jump at the chance to go to something so cool? So yeah, you shouldn't just go because it's gonna be awesome. Go because I'll like snub you as a friend if you don't. I mean, 